Okay, uh, welcome back. Uh, sorry, I had to uh, uh, stop abruptly uh, the first part of the video. Uh, I ran into some problems, but uh, the problems had nothing to do with the procedure here described, uh, but it was a problem seemed like uh, uh, the Ubuntu machine uh, uh, hadn't been updated into some modules and that was creating some problem uh, but I, I have updated uh, the machine and now uh, it works uh, perfectly as it should be um, so I um, the first part of the video will end at this point with the installation of uh, Pro FTPD via Webmin and we are going to retake uh, this part. Uh, this has been already been entered into the system, uh, but uh, I'll go through the commands and I'll punch the commands actually anyway uh, for you to see. Um, in some cases, the message saying that the user exists already will come up, but uh, uh, it's just uh, it's going to help. Uh, uh, people who are watching this video. Okay, so let's retake from this point on. So uh, we're going to set up um, an FTP guest user via the Ubuntu command line. So we go here to our uh, terminal emulator. So we are back into our Ubuntu machine and we're going to enter these commands uh, into the command line. fine I'm going to make this directory actually let's let me just show you well actually yeah let's let's do this The, we added this line in the previous steps or in the, in the part that is being edited so we don't do we don't need to do anything so but, uh, we're going to this is the command to add, add the user let me explain this um, we're going to add a user called FTP guests that is going to belong to the group FTP. Its home directory is going to be here, var FTP users FTP guest folder. And it's going to have a shell that is pointing nowhere. So actually it's not going to be able to do any SSH connection. Okay, so let's... Uh, exists. Uh, we can enter the password again. Okay. Good. And now let me show you this. So um, let's change to this uh, root directory for FTP users, so it's var FTP users, let's switch to there. And let's do a complete listing, and it has already been changed, this folder. If 
if you were doing these commands uh, for the first time, uh, this folder would have belonged to root. Uh, and because it belonged to root, that's why we had to take this action, which is to change ownership of that folder and give it to FTP guest of the group FTP. But it's already done, so it doesn't hurt if we retype the command. There you go. Okay. So we have completed this step number three. We have created the FTP guest via Ubuntu command line. Now let's go back to webmin and we will have to uh, uh, do any uh, small mock change of the FTP guest uh, configuration so webmin will connect to this user. I think there is a little bit of a flimsy connection if you don't do that uh, mock change okay and then after we do that we will uh, complete the configuration of pro FTP D uh, via webmin so let's go back to webmin and um, to do the mock change to FTP guest uh, we will find it in system users and groups it's loading and I know that FTP guest is at the very end so we will click here okay so everything is set correctly uh, directory var ftp users ftp guest folder uh, shell false uh, eh, let's make any change uh, we can re-enter the password so very conveniently we're going to enter password that we can always remember called password and we're going to save the change By saving a change, then we know that for sure Webmin is going to have a solid connection to, to the users. That is uh, that completed the configure FTP guest via webmin. Now we're going to do the pro FTPD, and for that we go to servers pro FTPD server. Okay, we find it there. It's only two things that I want to uh, do in here. One very minimum that is actually for my taste is uh, it's not absolutely necessary for you to do it, but I'll show you what I do usually. By default, the installation of Pro FTPD is going to set the server to listen on port 21, which everybody knows is a uh, FTPD port um, but 
what I usually do is change the listening port to 2121. Uh, it's just for me to know that I'm talking, connecting to the actual Pro FTPD. Maybe there was uh, another server pre installed on the system that is also 21, and I just want to make sure that I'm connecting to Pro FTPD. Okay, after changing this, you would do a save. Uh, let's do it anyway. And return to main menu. And this is the most important or the, 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 the essential um, change that we have to do to uh, set our user to be locked or jailed into uh, its home directory, okay? So we are going to, by default, this is going to be set to none, uh, limit users to directories, none, but we have to change it to home directory, okay? So once you click on this radio, change it from here to here, you just say save, apply the changes. This is basically going to restart the server. Okay, so we just uh, minimize the webmin and we are going to do the test with uh, FileZilla to see if the jailing actually works. Uh, so we can go back to our uh, Windows 8. We go to here to FileZilla. And we are going to connect to our host machine, which is 192.168.2.14. Port 2121. We know that it's our Pro FTPD server. We are going to log in with FTP guest and password there you are okay as you can see it's empty obviously it's it's first time that we're using it but the most important thing is that the is the home directory of uh, FTP guest is set as root and there's nothing that we can do we cannot go anywhere else okay and that's exactly what we wanted we don't wanted this FTP guest to be messing with uh, the other files in Ubuntu let's make a quick test here that we can create we can create a new directory we can create a file server side The directory and the test file that we just created via FTPD and uh, via FTP, and uh, as you can see, it belongs to the to the user FTP guest. Okay, um, sorry about the abrupt e e end of the first part of the video. Uh, as I was, uh, as I mentioned again, the commands here presented are are fine. Uh, the problem that I had had to do with a Ubuntu machine that was not up to date. Okay, so hope this helps, thank you very much.